This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So as you've already heard, this is a Content Creator Program video. Dr. Doom here will not stay in my account, and in fact, he's going to be taken very quickly, which is why we got him today, and there's no embargo, because we don't have a lot of turnaround time. So we haven't had uh, any real time to test him, play around with him, or anything like that. So this is a first look video. I want to show you guys his animations. We'll look over his abilities and attributes and his synergies for just a little bit. And I'll talk about what I see as his pros and his cons, but keep in mind this is only a first impression. Uh, he seems to have a lot going on, and we've only really going to touch the surface. All right, so first of all, this is a rank three, so bear that in mind. Let's take a look at his synergies. So this first synergy, he has a synergy with himself. And his attack rating is increased by 10% for each knocked out team member. That can be quite interesting. Now, when I go up against bosses uh, in content, I will often throw all of my champions at the boss, except for the one that I think is going to do the best. And so this would have me keep Doom back and go at him or you know whoever I'm fighting with all of my other champions, and then he's gonna have a nice 40% uh, attack rating boost. All right, and he has that with himself, doesn't need anybody else. This next one here, Fantastic Rage, um, Diablo, and uh, Annihilus, heavy attacks are guaranteed criticals while the opponent is suffering from a stagger effect, and we'll find out uh, in a little bit how they get that stagger because he can stagger pretty well. All right, uh, enhanced force field, Doom gains 15% perfect block chance, which is not bad. Uh, and you have this with Modok and Red Skull, two champions that are not terrible. Uh, Modok is definitely underrated. Uh, and then you have Genius Ingenuity, and you have that with Mr. Fantastic and Doc Ock. Uh, shock and incinerate debuffs have 20% increased potency. That can be very, very useful, especially since Dr. Doom shocks so very much. I believe it's on his mediums, but we'll, we'll uh, go into that. Sorcery reversal, activating the aura of Hazaroth. I hope I'm saying that right. Has a 50% chance to purify all degeneration, poison, incinerate, bleed, and cold snap debuffs. That can definitely be useful. All right, and Cosmic Overload. We have a champion here. We're not sure who it is. My guess is Silver Surfer. Uh, Dr. Doom, each time the aura of Hazareth is activated, Doom taps into the power Cosmic, gaining a random buff for eight seconds. Fury, he can get increases his attack by 50%, power rate will increase his power rate by 15%, and an armor up increases armor rating by 50%. All right, and then we've got Mystic Tyrants. Uh, successful nullifies deal a burst of damage equal to 20% of Doom's attack. That can actually be quite useful here. Uh, Morningstar is not a bad champion. Uh, I'm not fond of ramp-up champions, but she's actually a good champion. And I could see where his attack goes up. Now, this is a rank three, but at 565, SIG 200, uh, maybe even boosted, I can see this being really, really nasty. But until then, you know, until we have someone that has him at that uh, level, we don't know. And finally, all champions get 6% attack. You've got Thing, who is one of my favorite champions to fight with, you know, and the rest of the Fantastic Four team. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, abilities. So his signature ability, whenever Doom nullifies a power game buff, he receives one for himself. Nice. 
granting 20% of his max power over 3 seconds. If the opponent isn't already shocked, whenever Doom nullifies any buff, they have a 100%, which increases with SIG level, 100% uh, chance to be inflicted with a shock debuff, uh, dealing you know 491 direct damage over 6 seconds. I don't think this is a very needed essential signature ability. It's a nice to have, but just from what I'm seeing, he doesn't really need to be awakened. Okay. Uh, now his titanium armor, he, his uh, resilient armor protects him, granting immunity to armor break, armor shatter, and shock effects. Nice, but honestly, I would have liked to have seen him with some bleed and poison immunities so that he'd be a little bit more suicide friendly. But it is what it is. We've at least got some immunities, but they're immunities that not a lot of champions right now do. All right. Uh, and then you can see his basic attacks. If they're not already shocked, his medium attacks inflict a shock. Okay. Uh, while charging a heavy attack, if the opponent is within striking distance and suffering from a shock, which they will get when he is, uh, after you hit him with a medium, uh, their shock effects are removed and replaced by a passive stun. This can't trigger during the opponent's special attacks. So that's like Wasp. Okay, so what that means is that we should be able to attack him with our mediums, which will put a shock on them, and then fire off a heavy, which will remove the shock, stun them for 0.6 seconds, allowing us to hit them with the heavy without having to worry about anything. So Wasp is the only other one I know of that can do that. Landing a heavy has a 100% chance to stagger the opponent. Remember, we were talking about staggers earlier. All right, so you can stagger with your heavies for 10 seconds. That is very nice. You go up against uh, buff-dependent champions, and all you have to do to place a stagger is a heavy, and it's a 100% chance. One of the things that uh, I didn't like about Symbiote Supreme is that his stagger effects seem to be a little bit random. Uh, it was a low percentage chance to a uh, kind of a medium level chance, depending on the mode he's in. But this is a 100% chance, and you have full control. I like that. That, to me, makes it superior to how Symbiote Supreme does it. All right? And it's for 10 seconds. Not bad. Especially since you can keep firing your heavies off if you need to. Now, here's that Aura of Azeroth. All right, it cannot trigger while Doom is suffering from a slow or petrified debuff. All right, so a counter would be um, Spider Gwen. Uh, it would be uh, Captain America, Infinity War. Uh, so, you know, She-Hulk. And I'm sure there's other counters as well. Uh, and is paused during his special attacks. While active, special attack one and two are unblockable. That is very nice. Uh, and grant no power. Now, my understanding, if it grants no power, means you get no power, they get no power. Um, grant would normally mean they would get no power. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, light attacks grant no power and steal 3% of the opponent's current power. So he has a little bit of a power control mechanism to him. You just have to do a lot of light attacks. You know, if you see the opponent gaining power, you do a lot of light of uh, light attacks and you'll be stealing 3%. Not a lot, but it can make the difference between a special 3 and a special 2 in your face. Uh, contact with the opponent has a 30% chance to nullify up to one buff. That can be very nice. And if you have Mystic Dispersion, every time you nullify one of those buffs, you're going to be gaining power as well. So this is a champion just from reading. Looks like he's going to benefit greatly, like a lot of the Mystic champions do, uh, from Mystic Dispersion. Uh, Doom becomes unstoppable and stun immune against the last hit of an incoming special 1 and 2 and heavy attacks. Additionally, damage received from this hit cannot exceed 5% of the opponent's attack. Uh, that seems to be quite useful. I'll have to play around with that a little bit more uh, to see how that goes. All right, so now we're going to get into his specials, and I'm going to try to give you a quick summary. His special one, the main thing about the special one 
is the power steal. Okay, so it's going to steal quite a bit of power, uh, not to exceed two bars of power, but it's going to deal um, steal a lot of power from your opponent. So you want them to build up their power, and then you want to fire your special one. And that's a nice little form of uh, power control. You can read what else they have going on here. Uh, the special two is more about damage. Okay, special one has that power control element. It also has a little nullify. P special two is all about that damage and inflicts that incinerate. Um, special three has a 100% chance to inflict a passive stun. So that means after you fire that special three off, you're going to be able to go in immediately. Hands down. Okay, now I understand from watching a few uh, videos so far that he has the ability to stun the unstunnable. So stun immune, he's going to still be able to stun them. Okay, just a little something to uh, uh, bear in mind. And finally, the Aura of Hazara is activated for 12 seconds and Doom gains a Fury buff, granting a lot of attack rating for the duration of the Aura and you can stack this two times. So if you have, um, say, Mystic Dispersion 5, it is very easily possible to fire off a special three, start doing them light attacks and special ones, and you will get to a special three very quickly and fire off another special three and have two stacks of this. Uh, it'll always refresh at maximum duration, whether or not the aura was already active. So. Doom seems to be a little complex, not, not a lot, but he has a lot going on. And we are not going to go in depth. Again, this is first impression, so we're going to go into uh, Realm of Legends. We're going to just play around with him, see how we like him, uh, fire off his specials, maybe play around with that uh, special one power control, uh, power steal, and uh, we'll see how we like it. All right, so... Let's uh, head over into Realm of Legends. And as you can see, I'm going in here with just Dr. Doom. So we don't have any of the synergies active. And please bear in mind a couple of things. One, this is the first time I'm going in here using Dr. Doom. And also, I'm running suicides. And he does not seem to be very suicide friendly. All right, so first thing... I notice is that the medium attacks, like you read before, are firing off that shock. Here we go, he's got two bars of power. I fired off my special one and drained a lot of his power. All right, and there you go with that special two. Not bad. All right. And what I'm doing here, you'll see I'm doing a lot of light attacks. And I'm going to build up to a special three. And fire that off. Now, one thing I have noticed about the AI, uh, when you are facing someone, when they're facing someone that can do something about their power, like power controls, power steel, anything like that, they seem to be more likely to fire their specials. Um, I don't have to bait out their specials, and sometimes when I don't want them to, they do. All right, now let's, uh, one, two, three, four. All right, saw that. A little stun. Try and get him into the corner, four. Ah, tried to chain stun the uh, heavy, but that didn't work. All right, let's do this again. But look at how quickly I am back at a special three. That is impressive and I'm not running mystic dispersion right now if I were running mystic dispersion well I haven't really been uh you know he doesn't have any buffs to nullify so probably would not uh do much of anything all right so we got this hit a medium okay wait my medium didn't do that all right there we go all right he's not bad look at this fire off another special two and remember this is a uh, a rank two I mean a rank three okay not bad not bad at all I would love to see him 
ramped up. You know, 565, that would be really nice. All right. Let's build up to another special three here. Uh-huh. That just looked painful. Yeah, see, he's really all about firing off his specials. All right. Let's see something. All right. Fire off that special one. One, two, three. Heavy. Okay. Not bad. One, two, three, four. Heavy. Yeah. Not bad. One, two, three, four. Another heavy. Look at those staggers. Yeah, he, he takes some uh, getting used to, but... As you can see, he's not bad. He actually is pretty cool. Uh, his prestige, from what I understand, is also sky high. It's like 10,850, from what I understand. Putting him well above Thor Ragnarok, who currently is the uh, top prestige for uh, the five stars. Man, he's got some really nice uh, special attacks, too. Let's see if I can... Uh, nope. Now, see that? Oh, I was holding block. What was he doing firing off his special? Most of them wouldn't do that. They would fire off a heavy or something. But the AI knows. Uh-huh. Fire off another special one. You can see the unblockable. Not bad. Alright, so my suicides are going to kill me that recoil damage. If I keep on going like that. But yeah, he is uh, not bad. He's definitely uh, the thinking man's champion. You will, to get the most out of him, have to uh, pay attention to rotations and um, his abilities as well. But he's actually not bad. I like him. All right. See this right here? I just brought him down from a special uh, three. Another special one. And it was unblockable, so he couldn't really do anything. Here's another one. Here's another one. <laughs> Look at this. And of course, I can't do any more. Uh, we're not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna get a full kill on this one. But yeah, he's 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 really cool. Yeah, buddy. See if I can get another uh, special three off before I go. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, he is actually pretty cool. Um, definitely not suicide friendly if you want to uh, get the most out of him. But not bad. Not bad at all. And see, look at this. I can fire off the special even though it's going to take me out. But notice that I was able to fire that special off without worrying about him blocking. So if I weren't, you know, running my suicides, I'd be able to do that. Fire off the special one, which would uh, steal some of his power, whether he's blocking or not. That's actually pretty nice. Um, so, all right, let's, uh, go to my summary and, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons of this champion and maybe where I see him being useful. All right. So here's my quick summary. These are my first impressions. Bear in mind. All right. So 
Let's go down his uh, pros as I see it. First of all, he has a nullify ability, so that gives him some really nice utility. Uh, anytime you're going up against a champion that has a lot of buffs, he can nullify them, and that synergizes extremely well with Mystic Dispersion. All right, Power Steel, there's a little power control there. Uh, you're going to be able to fire off a lot of specials. Uh, his Stagger, again, along with the nullify, works very well with Mystic Dispersion. His Wasp-like ability to chain into heavies, uh, so far, it's only him and Wasp. Uh, so as you saw in the video, I was able to fire off a medium, which puts some shocks on them. And then while they're shocked, you fire off your heavy, they're going to get stunned. So you will fire your heavy off. So very nice. Uh, he has high prestige. Uh, what I've been told is that his prestige is 10,850, which makes him currently the top prestige five star. So he's going to be very sought after just for that reason alone. Uh, he's also shock, armor break, and armor shatter immune. Those can come in handy. I wish he had, you know, bleed and poison, uh, cause they would be, in my opinion, more useful, but we'll see what the future holds. And he has unblockable specials, which allows you to fire off, like say that special one right into their block, still, um, steal the power and everything. So I like that a lot. Now his cons, as I mentioned earlier, he's not suicide friendly. You have to fire your specials off a lot, which means you're going to take recoil damage. You saw in the fight, I tried to do that a little bit, and you saw what happened. Recoil took me out. So imagine if I had Mystic Dispersion and I was not running suicides. I'd be spamming specials all day long. So just bear that in mind, okay? Uh, crit rate seemed a little bit low. We didn't look at his attributes and everything. This is only a rank three. Uh, but I did look at his crit rate and it did seem a little low. Um, he's weak to petrify and slow. So not really a con, but I put it over here because you can see who is a good counter for him. You know, if he's weak to petrify and slow, then you should be thinking, uh, spider Gwen, she Hulk, uh, maybe captain America, infinity war, uh, void. All right. So that's why I put it over there. Um, his damage is pretty low against shock incinerate, uh, immune champions. He gets a lot of his damage from that shock, that whole wasp like ability. They have to be shocked. So if the champion you're fighting is shock immune, then you're not going to be able to chain into that heavy. Uh, and a lot of your damage is going to disappear. So that's a con. If you want to think of it that way. And finally, uh, Mystic Dispersion and Signature Ability, both of these are useless against champs that have no buff. So, you know with Mystic Dispersion, every time you nullify anything that's nullified, uh, so if you have a stagger on them or if you nullified it directly, you're going to gain power. But if they have no buffs, then it doesn't matter. Okay? Um, so... Those are the cons. Those are the pros. Overall, I actually like Dr. Doom. Uh, you will need to think a little bit about how you play him. Uh, this is, again, a first impression, so we're going to learn a lot more as time goes on. But I think he's pretty good. Now, whether you go for him or not, I'm not going to go for him in the arena because I think his scores are going to break records. It's Dr. Doom. His prestige is high, and he has some pretty good utility. So I think he's going to go pretty high. All right, but hopefully I've given you enough information here uh, to decide on your own whether you want to get him in the arena or not. I will go for him as a four-star and a three-star uh, for sure. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.